Hey Libra, how are you doing? This reading is for Libra for the week of October the 14th to the 20th. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Keep in mind this is a general read. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. And if you'd like to book a private reading with me, you can do so in the description box below. Click on the link. It will take you to the website and you can check out the options there. What is going on for the fabulous and most beautiful balanced babes? What do you need to know? What do you need to see for your highest good? Oh, and last but not least, a shout out to all the Libras who are celebrating a birthday. I wish you nothing but the best. Present time, the Knight of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. What's coming towards you? The moon. Major Arcana 4, Cancer. So read that as Pisces. What you are focused on is the Queen of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Typical court card for the Queen of Cups is Cancer. And your blocked and challenged position is the Three of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. And your outcome is the Knight of Pentacles. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. Okay, Libra. Let's clarify this and find out what is going on. Present time, you have the Knight of Wands. And the Knight of Wands is enthusiasm, creativity, passion, desire, attraction. There also can be some kind of travel, travel plans, plane, train, automobile, move, relocation. It could be some kind of surprise. So there could be a surprise party, a surprise invitation, something coming in out of the blue. Even though you can feel it or sense it because your intuition could be on point, you're not sure if it's actually there or if it's some kind of deep feelings, deep emotions. There also could be a level of secrecy here. You could feel like this Knight of Wands is a little bit free-spirited, non-committal, or there's an energy of arrogance, cockiness, boastfulness coming off this Knight of Wands. Because that's my free-spirited um, player play kind of energy. So an energy that is running quite hot or spicy. They could also argue for the sake of arguing. So you're not sure where you stand with this person. So stay calm in the times of uncertainty. Keep walking the journey. And pay attention to your intuitions, the dreams that you're having. And the Eight of Pentacles. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Energy. Some of you travel for work. Eight of Pentacles is about paying attention to the detail and putting in the quality of work. And again, very spontaneous or enthusiastic, flexible, marching to the beat of your own drum, which makes work fun. I also feel like if you rush or do anything that you feel restless in work, I feel like you need like an outlet to burn off some steam. Because it's like fast moving energy. This is fast, fast, fast. I got to move fast. You could also be... um quite good at what it is that you do for work or working really quickly. The Knight of Pentacles is moving slower than molasses or not even moving at all. So let's see with this moon card. What's the moon here? What's being hidden? could be working on something behind the scenes or being quiet about it and the ace of cups pisces cancer scorpio energy and the ace of cups is unconditional love peace harmony tranquility a new beginning new opportunity new possibility you could be working with somebody who is a little bit flaky or fickled they could be a little bit unreliable or not so dependent. But I feel like this is good energy. Working on something quietly behind the scenes, this is also birthing something new. And it can be 
even tapping into some kind of gift where it's like clairvoyant, clairaudience, something like that. Could be new baby. And you're working on it <laughs> with passion. Six of Cups, nostalgic thoughts of the past, reminiscing when times were good, when times were fun, when times were easy. This can also be revisiting old plans that you had in the back of your mind and now you're taking action towards it. Let's see what this Queen of Cups is. Queen of Cups is kind, caring, devoted, hardworking. Could also be like a counselor, a therapist, somebody who works in the medical field or medicine. But very gentle and soft. And we know what the Queen of Cups gets a bad rep for people-pleasing. And people-pleasing mentality leads to the detriment of your own health and also leads to disappointment because it's seeking validation and approval that he or she is good enough, but you've always been good enough. So putting yourself on the pedestal, putting yourself first is not selfish. It's selfless and necessary. What is this Queen of Cups? Because in your blocked and challenged position is the Three of Swords. And the Three of Swords is Libra energy. So something about heart-based or getting reconnected with your heart. What does your heart truly want? Because it feels like you're restless at work. Or you're dealing with people who argue or something. Or just not reliable. So like you want something that's more stable. And the Ten of Cups. Wow, that's such beautiful energy. And the Ten of Cups is happiness. You're happily ever after. Commitment, loyalty, a loyal heart with friends, family, loved ones. It could be getting together. And this is the healing. This is like medicine. And I'm just getting some kind of like surprise visit. And maybe that's why you want to get this work done quickly. But I would just watch this because, you know, impulse, impulse, <laughs> right? Rush, rush, rush. Four of swords, rest, recovery, rejuvenation. But again, something to do with like in your sleep time or your rest time. Your intuition here is like picking up on something. And again, this could be like loyalty of family, friends, recovery, returning to good health and healing. Can also be like something to do financially or visiting family, visiting a loved one. And let's see why the Three of Swords is your blockage or a challenge to you. Because the Three of Swords is like agony, heartbreak, separation, a breakup. And here, this is like freedom, free-spirited. So again, like working remotely might be more attractive to you or working from home. So you, you don't feel so separated from your loved ones. And the Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy. Queen of Swords, typical court card is Libra. So here, it's like a need for you to focus on this energy because it's like you're coming in from a place of yes, logic, or this is clear decision making. So something about clarity and truth of why you feel heartbroken or sad. And this is maybe something you can take a look at in your own time. Because the Queen of Swords is, you know, getting some kind of great advice or second opinion. It is also very shrewdful and resourceful, especially in business and career. There's something about feeling left out. Feeling left out of a party. There's one, two, three, four court cards here. Could be a family situation. Um, a need for you to cut out this heartbreak or agony or this pain that you're going through. There also could be something around um, your heart. 
or feeling under the weather. I just feel like you need to be more kind and compassionate towards yourself. Because, you know, the Queen of Swords could be like a sharp mind, but a very sharp tongue. So you might have said something or somebody did without thinking and hurt your feelings. So I would just watch because you're in the blocked and challenged position. So is there something that you need to speak up about? Again, the moon card is like deceptive behavior, ill health, mental health. Don't be afraid to reach out to loved ones or, you know, um, something about this anxiety or working really quick, fast, it might be burning you out. Let's see what this Knight of Pentacles is. Knight of Pentacles is slow and steady progress. Crossing your T's, dotting your I's, being very thorough. This person also has armor on. So approaching a situation with caution. This could also be somebody very loyal to you. Your right hand man, your right hand woman. Could be, you know, co-worker, could be a friend. Could be a pass on loved one as well. Guiding you, protecting you. And the star, wow, that's such beautiful energy. Major Arcana for Aquarius. It feels like slow and steady wins the race. Because this is like wishes granted, wish fulfillment, a dream come true. Stepping into the spotlight. Returning to good health. Again, some kind of guided light. Or being in the spotlight here. You know, this is about hope, faith, renewal, optimism. This is a healing card. That's a healing card. This is a healing card. So you could be coming out of the cold. Or if you felt like you weren't, a, like, not enough. I feel like you're being too harsh on yourself. This is too critical. Judging yourself. When you are extremely successful already in life, like this feels like very in, enriched. Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles is very kind, caring. That's also resources, abundance, taking really good care again of your health, wealth, and happiness. Knight of Pentacles is my all work and no play makes Johnny a dull boy. So make sure that you are making time to play, to have fun, to make room for love. And do some healing around this heart chakra. Or what is actually this heartbreak, a break, um, some kind of heartbreak or feeling heartbroken? But what is it stemming from? So go back and take a look at that. You think someone is lying? They are. This person is loyal to you. Whoever, um, they could be an Aquarian, a Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Again, um, somebody who works slowly or is just loyal to you. So you could be worried about this person that you are working with, this Knight of Wands. This person, again, boastful, cocky, Peter Pan syndrome, fickle. Only gives you the time of day when they feel like giving you the time of day, you know. Send Peter back to Never Never Land here, Libra, if you see inconsistency. Rebel. Because, F it. So this is about, you know, doing something taboo or letting your wild side out. Yeah, for some of you, you need to have a little bit more fun. But you're not speaking about what has hurt you. So being vulnerable and opening up right here. Of what you're hiding. Take a shot. Don't take 12. 
Take one. Okay, maybe two. Move on. So if you've tried with this person or tried with this situation or there's something about apprentice at work or this person shows up late and you're like, okay, fine, I'll just give them the benefit of the doubt. Again, the people pleaser mentality. Um, I feel like you also you have like a friend of a friend or a family friend as well. Could be a Pisces, Cancer, and an Earth sign here. And somebody wants to achieve or like wishes granted, but I feel like it's moving slower than you want it to. Like if this is a project that you're working on, don't get furious or fuming with yourself or beat yourself up and be critical about it because it's going to happen. And it says, you are giving away your power, which you are on the block to challenge position. Have your big old ugly cry and then express yourself vulnerable of what has really hurt you. You are a bad arse. Act like it. You know, um, you could have a mother too that you're worried about. Bo, you were highly thought of. Well, definitely. Ten of Cups, Queen of Cups, Ace of Cups. Somebody's hiding their feelings for you. Maybe that's why they act like a kind of a cocky plick at work. Because maybe this person's got the hots for you. Or you don't know where you stand with them. Because this person maybe has never been in a commitment. Or they've been non-committal. But I feel like you think this person might be a player. But they're, you know. And for some of you... If you think somebody is lying to you, you're you're right, right? Here. It's like you want some kind of new beginning with someone here. You have unconditional love, but there's somebody who's going through mental health, ill health, deceptive behavior. It could be your own. And that's something that you might want to take a look at. Counseling, therapy, and being around family. People who love you unconditionally is your medicine younger woman dealings or relationship with a younger woman that's my snot nose brat that's somebody who has bratty behavior that's my pissy pants person you know um child childish behavior like you know look at pouty always pouty somebody who always wants to get their way and you know this could be your cousin this could be your sister this could be like you know Somebody who um, could be a little bit jealous of what you've got going on. I don't see any jealousy cards, but Vaz V is a secret admirer. See? Told you. Someone has deep feelings. So if you, some for some of you, if you think this person's lying to you, you might be putting yourself out in the cold for no reason. And it's for you to express something. I do feel like that's still my snot-nosed brat. And it says situations in the balance that require careful handling. Right here. Crossing your T's, dotting your I's, and being very thorough leads you to wish fulfillment or some kind of wishes granted. And not unsuccessful plans. Well, I'm not surprised it's under that younger woman. And broken ring, parting of the ways in either romance or business. Yeah. But like I said, if anything falls away from your life that was good, it's the universe moving things out of the way to get something great. And turkey, someone behaving stupidly. Goldfish, increase in material wealth and spiritual growth right here. So it wasn't for no reason. You're still gaining material wealth and spiritual growth. And then it says, hand, in need of help, assistance, and guidance. Don't be afraid to reach out for help. You know, you could be, like I said, a little bit um, not feeling vulnerable to reach out, but vulnerability is the bridge to connection. And it doesn't matter what kind of connection. It's just needing to take that first step. 
The first step is always the hardest to open up and say, you know what, you really hurt my feelings. And um, that's, you know, elaborate on that. And if you're having a hard time opening up, get back into your heart chakra because your heart misses you. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know how this resonates with you. Like, share, subscribe. And Libra, if you want to book a private reading with me, you can do so in the description box below. Click on the link. It will take you to the website and you can check out the options there. Take care, my friends. Bye-bye.